just so there's 100% transparency, I was on Twitch at first, and then I made the move over to Mixer. While I was on Twitch, I had emotes, and I wanted to bring all those emotes over with me to Mixer. The problem was that you needed to be partnered before you could have anything to do with emotes. So I wanted to find a way to keep my emotes so that my viewers could use them. And then the Mix Playboard got integrated. However, now that Mixer is dead, I wanted to figure out a way to keep it the same way. I mean, who wouldn't want to keep this? Right? Adorable. Or have something like this pop up whenever it's used. Surprise, motherfucker. I know. Welcome to the classroom. My name is Spanish Jay, and I'm going to show you how to integrate pictures, GIFs, and even a video if you want into Mix It Up so that you can run it as a command or even as a channel point. Just so you know, this video tutorial today is uh, with Mix It Up Bot. If you do not know anything about Mix It Up Bot, check out some of my other videos that talk about it. Uh, the description below uh, shows where you can download it. Another quick reminder, I do stream on Twitch, so why don't you stop on over there, hit me a follow, and you can see a lot of these things in place. Join the community, we're pretty rad. So let's get to it. Once you download Mix It Up Bot, it'll bring you right to the screen. If you click the top left three lines, you go down to commands. Once you go to commands, you'll have an, either an empty canvas or a whole bunch of stuff that I have on. So here. let's type in new command. For the record, you do want all of these to be advanced commands. The reason being is because it lets you put it into a subgroup so you can keep everything extremely organized. Once you click advanced command, this will show up. Give it a name. Let's call this test gif slash image. We'll give it a command group. Now, just know that whatever you type in here will make a command group for you. I already have test command set up, so I'm gonna put this back into test commands. What's gonna trigger the command? We can do it as exclamation point test. So what do we do? We click on the action button, scroll down to overlay, image and videos. Make sure you hit add. You can do a text, so words can pop up on your stream. However it is that you want it, you obviously have to have it as a PNG so that it is transparent and it shows up all of this and not with a uh, background on it. An image, much like the image that you saw with the Oh My God sticker that I had up, um, images also tie up with GIFs or a video. Videos can be anything that you want them to be as long as the format of the video that you use should be MP4 or WebM files, especially if you're trying to do something with a transparent background so that it'll show up. So for this, we're just gonna do an image. Uh, the image is gonna pop up. You go to your browser source, wherever it is that you have your images. So for example, we'll just use this cheese smile emote of myself. All right, make sure that you give it the proper width and height. You don't want it to be too stretched out or too elongated. Make sure you give it a good duration. I usually do anywhere between five to seven seconds. I know this is a little cluttered, but just bear with me. If you want to give it an animation, you totally can. You do not have to. You can test it out by hitting the play button. And there it is. See, this has a background. That's not the one that I want. That's the one that I want. So it's a good size. It's a good length. It's perfectly the way that I want it to. Now the screen's position can be wherever you want it to be. If you want it to be on the top left, there it is on the top left. If you want it to be on the top or bottom left or bottom right, it's on the bottom right. On the center, there you go. If you need a specific place to put it, go to percentage. You can place it wherever you'd like based from the top and the left sides of the screen. You can give it an animation if you'd like, like fade in and fade out. You can even give it a visual animation, although at the moment it's not working due to the fact that the Mix It Up team is still trying to integrate everything into Twitch. Once you have that all done, you can click on the blue and make it smaller. Now, if you wanted to add, say, a sound wave, you totally could. If you just want the image or the GIF, you're more than welcome to just use that. The only reason I add sound waves onto it is so that I can actually hear when they're being used and I can acknowledge my chat as well. Now there is a very crucial and key important part that you need to know about before any of this can even happen. When you're in the Mix It Up screen, hit the top right cog. You'll go down to where it says overlays. For example, I have the default screen, which is the main screen, the waiting screen, the intermission screen, the reaction screen, and dad joke screen. These are all scenes that I use in my stream and they all have their own overlays. And here's why. When I'm on my main screen, 
and someone uses that. I want it to show up here in this position. My, my waiting screen, my camera position is in a different spot. So I have to move this around. The purpose being is that when someone uses it on the correct scene, it's in the correct spot. Thus the reason for this many overlays. What you wanna do is if you only have one scene, make sure you copy this overlay, put it on your browser source, name it test screen or whatever it is that you want. I generally do it with whatever the name of the scene is and make sure that you go to properties, and change it to 1920 by 1080. Once it fits your screen exactly to the T, you should be good to go. So when you run the command, it shows up where it is that you put it. Now you can integrate this into channel points, however it is that you seem fit. If you don't know about the channel points video, it's right above uh, there. Other than that, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always available via the Discord uh, or all my social medias over there. I do stream on Twitch again, and uh, you can also leave comments and concerns and questions all in the comment section below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share because maybe you're not the only person that has these questions. Other than that, class is missed. Oh, Gibby's one shot. Dude, I'm out of ammo. Oh no, how? Oh, shoot. <laughs> nice.